how I manifested over $16,000 literally out of thin air from an unexpected source. It's time. It's time that I officially reveal the full unedited story on how I manifested over $16,000 last August in 2022. This is a true story that happened to me. I've shared this a few times. I've referenced it a couple times, but I wanted to do a video where I shared the full in-depth story on how I manifested over $16,000 so that if you are looking to potentially manifest large amounts of money yourself and or you are, let's say, you know, you're, you've been in this for some time and you want more tips on how to manifest properly, then uh, definitely stick around with this video because this is a very awesome story that I have to share that I know is going to help a lot of people. So uh, first and foremost, I want to mention that if you're new to this channel, if this, if this happens to be the first video that you've seen of me, uh, this channel is not a manifesting channel. I'm not a law of assumption coach. I'm not in this, I'm not in this space. Uh, this channel is actually more so about affiliate marketing and making money online, which speaking of which, if you happen to be here, uh, you might also be interested in potentially learning how to make money online. So if you want to learn more about that and what I do specifically to earn an income online, I will have a free training down below that you could check out at any point in this video. Otherwise, uh, we'll go ahead and let's dive right into the story. So this particular story actually originates the origin of uh, why I decided to manifest this large amount of money actually originates uh, back in 2018, 2019, about four to five years ago. And at the time, I was completely brand new to uh, making money online or affiliate marketing, any of that type of stuff. I was very new to this industry. And so in my case, I got started back in like 2018, you know, around there, like 2017, 2018. And for my first three years online that I was trying to learn how to make money online, I struggled quite a lot. I bought into all these different courses, programs. I was very all over the place. I didn't really have any sort of real focus my first three years online. And so in my case, I was constantly buying into uh, different, you know, all these different courses, different training programs. And I was very overwhelmed throughout, you know, those first three years online. So around um, late 2018, I joined this particular business opportunities, kind of like a network marketing type of company, except it was all digital products and you could earn like instant commissions. So I joined it because I thought it sounded really cool. And one of the benefits of that exact program was you had the option of setting up your own payments. You could receive payments however, however you wanted directly from the customer. And so I signed up to this back in uh, 2018. And one of the things, uh, one of the first things that they have you do when you uh, get started is they have you set up payments on how you want to receive commissions. And one of the main ways that they had at the time was you had the option of setting up your own merchant account and receiving your payments directly from the customer. So you'd pay like 30 bucks a month for this, um, you know, to have your own merchant account. And so this way, you know, you could collect payments directly, they'd be instant. And then, you know, you wouldn't have to worry about like any other like fees associated aside from the $30 per month membership fee. So I thought, okay, this sounds really convenient. Um, and it was like the best recommended way to collect payments at the time. So I thought, okay, I'm going to sign up to this. Well, one thing that I was made aware of right from the start at the very beginning was that um, if you decide to start up this uh, merchant account, you need to keep it active for at least one to two years. Otherwise, if you cancel, you're going to get hit with this huge penalty fee. And the reason for that was because this particular affiliate program that I was promoting at the time had a deal going on with this merchant account where, okay, we're going to give your members a very large discount, but they need to be active with our platform for at least one to two years. And if you cancel, you know, again, you're going to hit, get hit with this huge penalty fee. So I was made aware of this in the very beginning. And so I thought, okay, I'm going to stick with this long term. I'm going to, you know, keep this account active. And then about, I want to say, Six or seven months later, I got distracted with a bunch of other things. I started going through all these different other uh, programs because I was very desperate to make money online at the time. And I was also very unfocused and I wanted to find something that was kind of quick and easy, right? So I kept buying into all these different courses and I started attending all these different webinars, trying out all these different you know, business models all at once and not really having any sort of real success. And then it got to a point where I was paying for all these different things I had all these subscription services active and I decided, okay, I'm going to cut back on expenses a bit. So at the time I was working minimum wage, didn't really have much income coming in from the job. I didn't really have any 
um, income coming in online yet. So this is before I had any sort of real success online. And I decided, okay, I'm gonna cut back some expenses. So uh, one of the things was this merchant account where I'd completely forgot about the penalty fee and I had sent a support email to uh, you know their support desk asking, hey, you know, I'm not really using this. Can you go ahead and cancel the account? And so uh, shortly after I sent that email, I received a phone call. I received a phone call from, I guess it was either the owner of the company or uh, the person that was in charge of this particular deal that was going on. And he calls me up on the phone, right? He calls me up and says like, hey, I just seen your email that you wanted to cancel. I just want to let you know that if you cancel your account, you're, you're going to get hit with this huge penalty fee. So I want to make sure that you are um, aware of this because this penalty fee is really going to chew you up. It's basically what he had told me. So he encouraged me to keep the account active longer. And he said, you know, if you want, you could use this merchant account for any other business that you're in. You don't have to use it just for the program that you're promoting. You could use it for anything, collect payments, and then you could decide a year or two later if you want to, either if you want to keep the account active or if you want to cancel it. So I appreciated that he was, you know, looking out for me and he wanted to like, you know, make me aware of it, right? So I decided, okay, I'm going to keep the account active longer. Well, then the next morning I wake up, very next morning, I remember, I vividly remember this. I remember checking my email and there was a response to the initial email that I had written to support before I changed my mind. Someone else had seen the email that I had written and said, hey, thanks so much for reaching out. We have successfully closed your account down. Your account is now officially closed. Thanks and have a great day. So you could probably imagine my reaction, you know, waking up in the morning, seeing that, you know, at this time I wasn't really making that much. Um, and I had gone in the negative in my account a few times. So I see this and I'm like, you know, like just kind of thinking like, <laughs> you know, like why, like, how, like, like I thought I told them that I didn't, you know, I didn't want to have it closed. So I tried email, emailing back and I said, no, it was a mistake. I changed my mind. Is there any way that I could reactivate this account and, you know, reverse this decision, right? So I sent that, you know, that response back and then I get a response shortly after saying like, no, once your account's closed, there's nothing you could do. And you know, that's pretty much it, right? So thanks and have a great day was basically the response that I got. And so throughout the next two years, this went on for two years straight, I would get billed 125 bucks every single month for this merchant account that I couldn't use. I, I didn't have access to. There was no way for me to back out of it. I tried uh, changing my, um, debit card and all that. I tried like, you know, a bunch of different things to try and escape it, but no matter what I would, I would get 125 bucks taken out of my account. And it was for this thing I couldn't even use. And I went in the negative multiple times because of it. Um, and again, I didn't have much income coming in from the business and I wasn't making that much for my job. So this was something that I really dreaded every single month. And I vividly remember it was the third of every month. I would get this email, you know, saying like, here's your monthly statement. And I'd be like, oh my God, here, here it is again, here it is again. And I would open it up and then I would see minus, minus 125 bucks. And then once in a while, what made it even worse was that once in a while, I would get hit with an even bigger fee. You know, like there would be like this annual compliance fee, this, you know, compliance thing or whatever. And it'd be like an additional like 200 bucks. So as you could probably imagine, this caused a lot of stress on my end. I was very annoyed, you know, uh, quite often throughout these two years. And I would often try to reach back out to them, say like, hey, is there anything I could do to back out of these payments, right? And what made it even more difficult was it was very hard to get a hold of anyone. I would have to email several times over and over before I got a response. I'd have to call the phone. I'd have to like text the the owner that originally like told me to keep the account active. And then he'd have, he'd have some other thing like, oh, well, if you want, I could either refund your last payment, but then you'd have to keep the account active for a whole another two years. Or you could just take the loss and cancel it and be like, uh, you know, I think I'll take the last payment refunded. And then, you know, went on for like a whole another two years. And I'm like, okay, you know, is there any way I can cancel this, right? And so long story short, finally, after about two years, this is about um, uh, like sort of halfway through 2021, like I want to say around... Uh, August or September of 2021, I remember kind of around that time, the payment suddenly stopped. I stopped getting billed for it and I stopped getting those emails and I thought, okay, good, it's over. But then, you know, after I, after these payments stopped, I realized, you know, here I had lost 
over 3000 bucks from this penalty fee that I got hit with, right? So then I decided, you know, about a year later, this was, you know, at this point, I'm doing pretty well with the business. I'm getting more momentum and I'm, you know, I'm doing a lot better. And I started learning about manifesting, right? And I heard about people that, you know, manifested large sums of money. And I thought, well, since I'm saving up for a new place and a new vehicle and all this stuff, I thought, what if I manifested this 3000 bucks back that I lost, right? And I, this was actually something that I thought about even during the payments, but I didn't really think about how I was going to go about it or if it was even really possible. But I thought, you know, what if I did something, did some sort of technique and I got this money back? So this was where I, I made a decision in this. And what I did was uh, this was last July of 2022. I was reminiscing on how much of a, you know, pain in the ass that these payments were. And so I got out this card, this gold card, right? This was August, uh, no, July of 2022 when I wrote this down on this card. Hopefully it's showing up, you know, the right way. Otherwise, I'll have to try and flip this around, hopefully. But um, what I wrote on here was, I'm so happy and grateful now that I unexpectedly received a large refund of over 3000 bucks from the old merchant account penalty fee. This has seriously helped me out towards my new car and new home. So I wrote this down on this card and I still have it with me today. I kind of keep it as like a bit of a souvenir to show that like, hey, this manifesting stuff works. And so I wrote this down and when I wrote it, I wasn't like in a state where I was like really needing it or I wasn't like constantly thinking about like, oh, is this actually going to show up? But for some reason, I wrote this down and I was fully convinced in my mind that somehow, some way, 3000 bucks was going to show up in the month of August, the very next month after I'd written this. So I, I wrote this down. I set it aside, I'm, you know, like right next to my bed. And I kind of went on about my life. I basically forgot about it. I uh, just kind of continued, you know, working the nine to five and, you know, building the business on the side. And then one day, this was August 9th of 2022. I, I remember the exact day. I woke up early in the morning because I had to like be at work, you know, at like 9 a.m. or something like that. So I woke up like around, you know, 7 a.m. And I checked my email and there was a very strange email in there from a company known as TransferWise. If you're not familiar with, with them, it's basically a, um, it's kind of like PayPal or Cash App. Um, you know, it's like a merchant account, an old merchant account that I signed up for, you know, like about a year ago. Not the same one that I used right here, but I signed up to this account. I never really used it and I just kind of forgot about it, but I received an email from them that said, you, you just received a payment. You know, someone had just paid you and I'm like, who's paying me on this account? I never, I don't have it listed anywhere. I don't have like, I don't have my link to get paid on there anywhere. I'm like, who is paying me on this on this TransferWise thing? So I open up the email, and then the email said, uh, you just received a payment of $3,456. The money is now available in your account and to you. So I'm like, there's no way this is real. So I, op I uh, log into my account, and sure enough, there is precisely $3,456 literally just sitting in my account. No idea how it, you know, how it got there or who sent it. No idea to this day, but it showed up in my account and I'm like, seriously? And then I, I see there was a button that said like transfer to bank. I hit that and then less than 24 hours later, this 3000 bucks showed up in my account. Now, about six months ago, back in August, I actually made a video sharing my success story and how I manifested this first 3000 bucks, right? Uh, and you might even recognize some of what I said here if you've seen that last video. But uh, there's actually a part two to this where I manifest an even larger sum of money about two weeks later. So I, you know, of course I got really excited when this 3000 bucks showed up and I started sharing it with family members, a few coworkers and all that, that were familiar with uh, this manifesting stuff. You know, I would of course tell people about it. And of course, um, when I started sharing the story, a lot of people were like, you know, really happy for me and excited. But then of course there was a lot of skepticism. Like, is this actually real? Like where this 3000 bucks came from, right? You know, rightfully so. And then, um, you know, there was one coworker that I shared this with at my last job. I don't work there anymore, but back when I worked there in August, I shared the story with one of my coworkers and um, I, uh, I, I made this joke to her. I said, like, like, what if <laughs> I said, what if uh, this isn't like the actual manifestation? What if there's like another like big payment coming along the way or something <laughs> like or, or something? So I just kind of. I just kind of casually made a joke about it, like, what if there's something else coming? And I didn't really think much of it. But then uh, the very next morning, 
Very next morning, I wake up again, again, once again, very early in the morning, and I check my email, and there's another email from TransferWise. Once again, it said someone had just paid you, and I'm like, again? So I open up the email, and it said, you just received a payment of, it was like $12,671 or some, somewhere along those lines. And then when I did the math, you know, that plus what I got right here was over $16,000 that I had manifested that just kind of showed up out of nowhere, right? Now, what's really interesting about this, and well, specifically with the first 3,000 that showed up, right? Um, the key word that I wrote on this card was the old merchant account penalty fee. Old merchant account penalty fee was what I wrote in here. And TransferWise happens to be an old merchant account that I hadn't used in a while. I, I, I signed up to it, didn't really use it. I just kind of set it to the side. I was gonna use it for something. I never ended up using it, but then I received 3,000 bucks from this old merchant account, right? And then uh, the next 12,000 that came in later, I didn't, you know, aside from the, the joke that I, you know, had got into, I wasn't really like thinking about, you know, what could possibly show up next. But then when that additional 12,000 that showed up, I had remembered that several months prior, uh, February of last year, I had, uh, I was doing this thing, right? Where I was like affirming for uh, 10,000 bucks in like 30 days or less. I was doing some sort of like shamanic tapping thing for like 30 days straight. Uh, it's basically where like you're, you're tapping on different like, you know, parts of your face and like, you know, like here, and then you're just like repeating like certain affirmations and, you know, like different mantras and all that. And I, I remember like in February of 2022, I was like in this, I was kind of like in a, uh, a low vibrational state where I was like wanting to really manifest money fast. And um, I was kind of like somewhat desperate at the time to manifest like this large amount of money. And uh, I, I remember like I would end each night, like I would like light a candle, this money like chakra candle. I, I got, I went through a phase where I kind of got it, got into that and I would light this candle and I would have all the lights off and I would start like, you know, like tapping at like uh, different, you know, uh, places on my face and then I like just repeating these mantras, right? And uh, what what's interesting about that is I didn't end up receiving 10,000 bucks within those first 30 days. And I believe a huge part of the reason for that was because I was constantly thinking about it. I was constantly obsessing over it. Is it actually going to show up? When's it going to show up? And then what I believe made that $10,000 finally showed up was the fact that I was already in a state where I was receiving money. And usually when you're in sort of like a state of momentum where you're doing really well in this particular area, like in the wealth area, it generally tends to be a lot easier to manifest more, uh, you, you know, to manifest more stuff in that, you know, particular area, right? So when you are in a state of like lack, you think about it more and you're focusing on the idea that I don't have something, I need to get something. And then you generally tend to attract more lack into your life. Whereas if you are receiving, you know, like for example, if you are, uh, growing like an online business, right? And you're attracting consistent sales, it's generally a lot easier to get more sales coming in regularly because you already have momentum going, you have the belief that's built up, you have experience doing what it is that you're doing. So it's generally going to be a lot easier for you to believe that you can manifest more sales coming in. Now, again, what made the 10,000 finally come in was the fact that I had successfully manifested 3,000 and I was really amplifying sharing it with people, focusing on the idea that I successfully manifested money. And if there's anything that I could really recommend here, and I'll kind of get into a few tips, um, you know, as well that I could really share here. If there's anything that I could really amplify, it's you want to get in that vibrational state where you already have what it is that you are trying to manifest, right? So the question you want to ask yourself is if you knew for, if you knew, for example, that you're going to manifest an extra 10,000 bucks, if you knew that 10,000 bucks was going to show up this month, uh, would you be showing up and uh, acting differently if you already had that in your possession? And if the answer is yes, which ideally it should be, then the other question is, can you be that person right now? Can you live from that end state of already having what it is that you desire? Because the more you can kind of build yourself up in this sort of vibrational sense, then the easier it's going to be for you to keep manifesting in that particular area. So that's the first thing that I would really recommend as it pertains to manifesting, right? Is you wanna pick something to that you wanna manifest and then you wanna keep yourself in that state of already having what it is that you want. The more 
sort of like neutral that you can get, like like a neutral state that you can get in where you're just kind of like, you know, where you're not constantly thinking about it, uh, then the easier it's going to be for you to manifest. Now, one other thing that I'll recommend here, this is also another thing that I do on a day-to-day -day basis, and I see the storage is getting low on here, so I got to be kind of quick, right? I see there's doggies outside. <laughs> It's awesome. Yeah, but uh, so another thing that I will that I want to mention here is something else I do on a day to day basis is I like to affirm daily, right? So I write in a notebook, in a journal daily, and I write affirmations about not just money, but also manifesting and plenty of other uh, areas as well. Productivity, videos going viral, you know, that's something that I do. So, you know, you could write affirmations that are specific to what it is that you're trying to manifest. And as it pertains to money, you know, like here's some examples, right? Wealth and abundance chases me like wildfire. Um, I'm getting five, you know, big sales per day, you know, with ease, right? Uh, my business is blown up like crazy. I've dramatically climbed to the top of the leaderboard. I've surpassed 20K per month with ease, right? So when you write things like this and you write them consistently, right? The more you write them down, the more you affirm for them, the more you say them, the more you're going to believe it and the easier it's gonna be for you to get uh, that specific result. So that being said, hopefully you got lots of value in the story. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below if you got lots of value here. I'd really be interested to hear your honest thoughts. And yeah, like I said, uh, this is something that actually happened last August. Uh, I did receive 16K as I showed in the beginning of the video. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. And again, if you want to see what it is I'm doing uh, full-time to create a full-time income online, uh, I have a free training down below, first link down below in the description. When you go there, it's going to take you to my number one recommended training series that I put together that shows you exactly how to work online simply from your phone. So check it out down below if you're interested. Otherwise, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like that, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and all the best.